Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing great today. We've got another really fun lesson planned here. This is going to be expanding on what I taught the other day. If you missed it, check it out. It's on triads right here. Triads are a way to play chords up and down the neck in different spots. Today we're going to take that to a new level by playing a blues shuffle riff. I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to break it apart and show you guys how to play the concepts. I promise you're going to love this. It's going to be a really cool building block for future lessons to come in this series. Here we go. Let's have fun with this. See you guys here in just a second. Okay, so here we go. We're going to teach you guys this really cool blues riff. This is going to be in the key of A right here. So we've got the, the A. The 4 is D. 5 is E. But what we're going to do is we're going to make this really cool by not using the uh, sixth string. We're going to use just the bottom three strings of this thing. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, so triads. So if you guys remember triads, triads are three notes, right? So what we're actually going to do is um, we're going to use the A down here. We're going to use this part of the D and this part of the E. So visualize if we were to play this uh, note right here, fifth string, well, the 12th fret is an A, okay? So we're playing this right here. So what we're actually going to do is move it all the way down to here. So we're going to play this instead. So if we put our fingers right here, get closer, got them just like this and this. Imagine the nut is where the bar is at. So this would be the 12th fret. So if we go up to the nut, that's our, our capo per se. Okay, so what we're going to do is play this right here. So this is the, the riff. So this is the one chord. So Again. Get a little bit closer. What we're doing is we're keeping these two fingers on and then we're using this pinky to pull off and then slide up here. So we're sliding up here in this case to the G note on the A. So let me scoot back here so you guys can see. You can see my this hand. So I'm just doing like this. Okay, so that would be the A, right? That part's easy. And the reason this is working is because this note right here on the fifth string open A. But we're not playing it. Just visualize that what we're playing. That's what we're playing. Um, so we got here. Okay, that's our one chord. So now we're going to come up here to the D. Here's the root on the fifth string right there. But we don't want to play that. We're just going to take these bottom string fingers right here. We're going to move it down because this is still a D note right here. And then we're going to put our finger right here on the A. So we're going to play these bottom three strings. Or a D triad, I guess I should say. That's a D triad. Because our root D is here. See how it sounds exactly the same? So it's D. So then we add our movement to it. So then we, we don't have quite enough fingers, so we have to use them all. So we're going to go like this now. Let's see if you guys can see that, what I'm doing. Okay, so. It's just that same movement that I just did on the A string, or on the A chord, one chord. So this is over the four chord again. And then, like on the blues, we got the four chord. Well, how do we get to the five chord? Well, we just move that sucker on up to here. Because now we're, this is our E. Remember, this comes from, here's the E on the fifth. Here's the E on the third string. We pull that down. We got our new little shape. Put the fingers there. 
and then and then walk it down and then we're back to our A okay so the other little part would be the turnaround um, you don't have to play it but it's pretty cool so we've got we've got right here Then on the turnaround, it would be. So what I'm doing is bring the camera out a little bit more so you can see all the fingers. I'm hitting up here. This is gonna be, that's the walk up. Coming a little bit closer. So I'm hitting um, right here, open on the G, hammer on, open, and then you go back to it. Again. Here's one other little cool thing you guys can do with this riff. Um, so remember, this is in the key of A, right? So we're playing these are major chords, but we can actually use the minor pentatonic. Notice when I'm playing right here, this is a minor pentatonic shape, part of it. It's kind of major, kind of minor, but we can add this really cool note right here. So if we're playing here on the A, we're actually gonna add the D note, which is right here on the pinky. So, Play it like this. And then here we're going to add the uh, G note. And then back. And then to the up here on the E, we're going to add this A note there. That's why it sounds cool. Then walk it down. Okay, here's a little. Uh, playthrough example that shows you guys what I'm talking about with adding this little extension part. You can always add, let's say you're playing here. Here's your major. Uh, if you guys missed a lesson, it's showing on how to mix major and minor. Check the card out right here, it should be. So this would be major A, so. And then four. something like that. 
Uh, this is all coming from the A major here scale, and then we're going down here to the the A minor scale. So check the card out, like I said, it'll teach you how to play major and minor together. All right, take those concepts, guys, and uh, make that riff your own by adding these little extensions that I've been showing you. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Like I said, this is a building block for future lessons to come in this series. If you guys haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, I really would appreciate it. Hit the bell notification that lets you guys know when I'm releasing new content. Also, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this. I really would appreciate it. Check out the video I was talking about in the triads right here, and then check out another video on some other blues riffs. Take care. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.